The following is an exclusive by Madison County Schoolsports.com. Welcome back to Madison County School Sports Television. I'm Samantha Burford. We're here at Jack Burford Chevrolet today, and we're actually outside today. We're with Troy Blankenship, and he is going to tell us all about your guys' event next weekend. You even have a helper with you today. We'll get to that, yeah. Yeah, I've got my, my main man with me today. Uh, we'd like to invite everybody out next Saturday, uh, the 25th of February, at B. Michael Cottle Middle School for our fourth annual fishing tackle swap meet. Um, all the proceeds from this event go to our high school fishing team, Madison Central. Um, those of you who enjoy fishing, this is definitely something that you want to attend. We have over 1,600 feet of table space reserved from vendors coming from not only the state of Kentucky, but surrounding states that are coming in. Anything that you could want that deals with fishing, it's going to be there. Bass fishing, crappie fishing, bluegill fishing, cat fishing, musky. You name it, it's going to be there. So it's just important to come. Come in the door, there's going to be concessions, lots of people. And even for newbies, somebody like me that's not a professional. And... Oh yeah, you know, if if you're a person who fishes a couple times a year, maybe goes to a farm pond, uh, yeah. some of the local lakes, Lake Reba, there's definitely stuff there that you can use to fish, you know, whether you're a tournament fisherman or you fish two times a yes. year, there's plenty of stuff there uh, for you to look at. You know. You come in, you're not going to leave in 10 minutes, you're not going to leave in 15 minutes. You could literally spend four hours in there looking around at all the stuff that's there. So it's well worth the time to come out. Well, we're so excited to finally get to meet you guys and actually talk about this. Your guys' team, you, they, like you said, they've been around about four years. So you have some actual team members on your team this year that started with you, some seniors. That's right. We've got several of, of our student anglers that have been with us since their freshman year. Um, they fished all the way through. They absolutely love it. Uh, in my opinion, uh, you know, Mr. Thomas at the school board and everyone associated with it, Mr. Munts, allowing the, you know, the high school to take on yeah. the high school bass fishing. It is sanctioned by KHSAA. You know, we're getting a lot of students involved that aren't basketball players, that aren't football right. players. And, you know, it, they're, they're involved in the school and it's a great thing and they absolutely love it. So, yes. you know, it's, yes. it's great. I think it's fantastic too because like you said not everybody's going to be on the football team or the basketball team other people have interests and hobbies too so we got to throw some love to the bass fishing team <laughs> at madison central Absolutely. right you better believe it all right and i'm sure you've got a future fisherman or oh, yeah. our, you know team member right here behind yeah you. yeah nate he's he's coming up through the <laughs> ranks and uh he'll be fishing with us shortly yeah. absolutely all right so troy tell us about the boat like would you put how many members on your team on here how many typical boats would you have during a tournament? Okay, the way it works in the high school tournaments is every boat has a boat captain, an adult, which is 20 years or older. Uh, the adult is responsible for running the gas motor. Everything else that goes on, the trolling motor, the handling of the fish, the tying on of the tackle, everything else is, you know, the student anglers uh, are responsible for that. Each boat has two students and one boat captain. Okay, so parents, don't worry about if you don't have a boat, don't worry about that your student wouldn't know how to use the boat. Join in on the team this year. You guys are getting ready to start, right? It's yeah. getting to be your season. Absolutely. Our season starts next month. Uh, we've got several big tournaments right off the bat. We've got a state tournament coming up, a KHSAA regional coming up. Oh, so you so, start out with a state tournament right out of the shoot. Yes, yes. Probably one of the biggest tournaments of the year. Um, last year, I think there were 167 boats that fished the Student Angler Federation State Tournament. Uh, we actually had um, one of you know, a pair of our team members finished in the top 10 uh, in that tournament last year. And we actually won that tournament several years ago. So Fantastic. we've done really well. Now, we want to remind everybody, it's not just for men. Girls can be on this yeah, team too. Absolutely. Uh, we love having females out there. We've had, uh, every year we've had at least one female on our team and they've been known to kick some tail out there too. <laughs> they've done really well. Absolutely. So I want to let everybody know, if you're a beginner, you can train them. Don't don't worry that you don't need to be on the team two or three years. If you're a freshman at Central and you want to join the team, yeah, out. yeah, we've uh, you know we've got people of all levels. We've got some that are beginners, and then we've got some you know pretty advanced anglers on our team. And let me throw this while they're out there. If there's anybody out in the community that has a bass boat and they want to get involved with the high school fishing team, we can always use the help. Uh, you know, I wish 
we had a fleet of bass boats available, but we don't. So anybody in the community who would be willing to help us out in any way, uh, you know, we'll gladly accept that help. You need captains. We need captains. You need adult captains to be we out do. there chaperoning. We I do. This is the best way. Yeah, absolutely. So if you just are interested and want to enjoy being out there and want to help some students, get involved. Absolutely. We yeah. never turn down help. That's right. That's right. Now. You guys are going to raise money. Let's go back to next weekend on the 25th, of, mm -hmm. so next Saturday. That's right. Next Saturday, once again, our fishing tackle swap meet. This is our fourth one. Those of you who have been before, you know it's a pretty big event, a real big event. And those of you who haven't, you've thought about coming, you know, come on out. Help support our team, and uh, it's, it'll be a good day. Yeah, and you guys got a lot of sponsors. Let's give them a shout-out, yeah, too. Yeah, we Myers do. And... You know, we've got several sponsors, uh, people throughout the community, Myers, Canes, Martin Construction, Days Boat Sales, and, uh, you know, and Frankfurt has been with us since the get-go. You know, across my shirt, a buddy of mine, T-Rex, who's a, a local bait maker. Uh, we've got people, the Bluegrass Stockyards, uh, you know, people mm -hmm. from all over the community. And anybody who's interested in becoming a sponsor, we haven't ordered our jerseys for this year yet. This is our last year's jerseys. Okay. Uh, we wear these to all of our events, all of our tournaments. Uh, we put all of our sponsors on a banner that we take with us, um, you know, every tournament we fish, and we try to, you know, advertise them the best that we possibly can. We're the only sport, by the way, who's allowed to do this, to put advertisement. You don't see other football no, teams or basketball teams going don't. around with sponsors, uh, you know, on their team, on their team jerseys. Right. So, what uh, a great idea. Yes, I see Raising Canes and Adams and T-Rex, like you mentioned. Uh, so it's wonderful. So you're always needing sponsors. It's like all the other athletic groups. I mean, they are always needing money and funding. So come out next Saturday, February 25th. It's all day long, like 8 to 4. It's it's 8 to 4 on the schedule. It's 8 to 4. We can't hold the vendors hostage if they want to pack up and leave <laughs> at uh, 12 o'clock. You know, that's for, yes. they can do that. But, um, you know, there'll be, they'll be there uh, most of the day. Yeah. Absolutely. So students, get out there and join the bass fishing team because I think it's a wonderful way to get involved in your school and, and get away from studying for a few hours, right? Well, you know, let me tell you, it, <laughs> a, a day on the lake is, I mean, you can't beat it. With, right. Catching fish is a bonus, but just being out on the water and, you know, with the scenery and the peacefulness, you can't beat it. Right. And, you know, it's, it's high competition too. When we go out, we go to win. Doesn't always come out that way, but we have a good time regardless. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. Good luck next Saturday, and good luck during your season. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate All right. it. All right. Wait, Nate. <laughs> come on out February 25th to the fourth annual Fishing Tackle Swap Meet at B. Michael Cottle Middle School.